Greetings, humans. It's week 12 here at footballdiehards.com. This is the Saturday injury preview, review, update, overview thing. Um, there are no buys. No more buys. Uh, we're all free to roll into our fantasy playoffs uh, without dealing with those, just dealing with attrition, which I will discuss now uh, as we get ready to set all our lineups. I hope you had a lot of success in the Thursday games, uh, which means I hope you didn't play any Dallas Cowboys. All right, we'll start, you know, chronological order as always, so you understand your fallbacks. We'll start with the early games. Uh, Atlanta is hosting Tampa Bay. Devonta Freeman has been ruled out for the second straight week. It's the concussion. Uh, sounds like he's getting close, but they aren't pushing him, and they have Tevin Coleman. It's a great matchup for him. I know it wasn't all we hoped for in Seattle when he got the start this past week, but had he not had a touchdown overturned, we'd all be talking about how great Tevin Coleman is, his game was, so... Take that into account. It's a great matchup. Jameis Winston, of course, out on the other side of the ball. Cameron Brake came off the injury report, so all good there. Julio Jones off the injury report. Tough matchup against Brent Grimes, but hopefully he can get. Uh, they can find him in the red zone. Uh, that would be great. New England Patriots host the Miami Dolphins. For uh, Miami, Jay Cutler is out with his concussion. Matt Moore starts. That means Kenny Stills is in play. Um, he's had great production, a long string of touchdowns. I think six, five out of six games that Moore has started. Kenny Stills has cut a touchdown, coming off a 180-yard Career high uh, output last week, so might be a good play there. For the Patriots, uh, Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski opened the week on the injury report, an Achilles tendon for Tom Brady, uh, illness for Gronk. Both came off the injury report Friday. They're both good to go. Danny Amendola is questionable. Martellus Bennett, doubtful. Sounds like he won't go. Chris Hogan ruled out. Still leads the team in touchdowns uh, despite missing the last two games, and he'll miss a third now with his shoulder injury. Buffalo Bills uh, traveling to Kansas City without Kelvin Benjamin. He was left at home early Saturday when they made the trip, so had the knee injury, suffered last week. Uh, Ty Tyrod Taylor's back in as a starter after the uh, failed Nathan Peterman experiment in uh, Los Angeles last week uh, went awry. So Taylor's back. Uh, who he will be throwing to? Jordan Matthews is questionable. Charles Clay is questionable. Deontay Thompson is questionable. Andre Holmes came off the injury report, but it's dealing with a little ankle soreness. So Zay Jones and, uh, and uh, Brandon Tate are the uh, only healthy wideouts on the roster. It's a great matchup. Chiefs give up the second most fantasy points to wide receivers. Maybe Zay Jones will play. Anyhow, I'll be watching for those. And all these uh, questionable guys will want to watch the main page of the site tomorrow uh, in the 90 minutes leading up to each team's respective kickoffs to find out the official game status. Uh, on the other side of the ball, Albert Wilson could return this week. He's missed two games. A lot of people in Kansas City talked to uh, Brett Perloff from the, uh, uh, the, the uh, Kansas City Star yesterday, and uh, he talked about it too. Just uh, without Chris Conley and Albert Wilson, these guys just made plays. They converted third downs, did little things, kind of the dirty work that you don't talk about. But uh, Kareem Hunt, great matchup. Uh, Tyreek Hill, great matchup. Alex Smith, you'd think if the Chiefs are going to get back in line, it's against a, a Buffalo defense that's given up 135 points combined over the last three games. Uh, they've just been horrible, horrible against the run as well. So some hope there. For the Tennessee Titans at Indianapolis, Rashard Matthews is questionable. Uh, came up with a sore hamstring on Thursday. Did not practice Friday. Seems like a true game time decision. They activated Harry Douglas off the injured reserve list earlier today. So he could be available if Matthews is not. I think Delaney Walker is a good pivot. Look, it's a good matchup, you know, Colts defense. On the other side of the ball, Jacoby Brissett is off the injury report. So obviously clear from his concussion. He's good to go. You would think this is a T.Y. Hilton week, right? The boom or bust is about to go boom. Let's hope so. Um, moving on, the Philadelphia Eagles are at Chicago. Jake Elliott is off the injury report. The kicker, you know, missed time last week with the concussion in Dallas. Uh, he's fine, fully cleared, will kick. Other side of the ball, Dontrell Inman listed as questionable. Uh, with a groin injury, practice fully Friday. I expect him to play. Deion Sims could return, it looks like. Uh, missed the last two games with illness. He practiced fully as well on Friday, listed as questionable also. Uh, Josh Bellamy, uh, the wide receiver, is listed as doubtful. Uh, seems like he will not go. So, um, But Inman and Sims, in, in the tight end case, Adam Shaheen and Daniel Brown have kind of been getting the job done. So we'll see how Sims uh, muddies that water. Late afternoon kickoffs. Jimmy Graham listed as questionable, expected to play. Has the ongoing ankle issue. Scored like, what, seven touchdowns the last six games. Uh, wouldn't keep him out against the San Francisco 49ers. Late afternoon kickoff. Have to watch for having a fallback plan. In addition, Mike Davis listed as doubtful with the groin injury. He came on against the Falcons, got a little something done, and then got hurt. Looks like Thomas Rawls will be active this week. Uh, because of that, I don't know how you count on Rawls or Lacey. Maybe J.D. McKissick is the, the pivot here with... Uh, uh, it's certainly in PPR. He's had a lot of touches. More touches over the last three games than either Graham, uh, 
uh, Doug Baldwin, Thomas Rawls. So, so he's maybe viable, an, an emergency kind of guy. Um, for the, uh, oh, I missed one. New York Jets. Matt Forte has listed his question. Well, I'm sorry about that. Jets going up against Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers will have back Greg Olson. Don't know how much work he will do. Uh, that is an early game. I don't know how I got confused. I'm old. Um, so, uh, so Forte could be in the mix. Watch that one in the 90 minutes leading up to kickoff as well. Could have an impact on Bilal Powell, obviously, and uh, Elijah McGuire to a lesser degree. And again, Olsen will be playing this week. His role to be determined. Uh, Ron Rivera said that he would be used judiciously. Uh, Greg Olson says he will not. So we know how that goes, right? Um, so went through Seattle. So moving on, Los Angeles uh, facing New Orleans without Robert Woods. Lance Dunbar listed his question. Well, the Saints will be without their two starting quarterbacks, including Marcus La Lattimore, Marshawn Lattimore, who has been playing phenomenally. That's good news for Sammy Watkins, good news for Cooper Cup, good news for Jared Goff. And Todd Gurley will be very busy in that game. Uh, for the Arizona Cardinals, John Brown's been ruled out with a toe injury. Uh, they they sound, it sounds like J.J. Nelson and Jerome Brown are kind of in Bruce Arians' doghouse. So Chad Williams sounds like the rookie, sounds like he'll get a chance. Uh, that's interesting as well. Watch the tight end position there too. Uh, no injuries, but some some things going on. I don't know if you could play anybody, but Ricky Seals Jones was pretty phenomenal last week with two touchdowns. So try to don't chase those points, kids. Uh, Drew Stanton, of course, is questionable. Blaine Gabbert will be starting against the team that drafted him, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars, who have a phenomenal defense. We'll see if Jalen Ramsey plays. Uh, he hurt his hand in practice. Said he won't, but he's listed as questionable. In addition, uh, uh, Leonard Fournette off the injury report, Marquise Lee off the injury report, Alan Hearns is ruled out, so no real surprise there with his high ankle sprain. Emmanuel Sanders going up against the Oakland Raiders uh, for the Denver Broncos. Paxton Lynch will be starting at quarterback. Sanders is listed as questionable for this game. Sounds like he'll play. Had a couple of good games in his return from the ankle injury that cost him a couple games and then uh, just disappeared last week. So we'll see how that plays out. The Sunday night game, Green Bay Packers, uh, will be without, most likely, well, will certainly be without Aaron Jones. Ty Montgomery listed as doubtful. I would expect him not to play. Uh, Devontae Mays, the other rookie running back, the third rookie running back, is listed as questionable. Um, Jamal Williams, the only healthy halfback, uh, Alan Murkowski can probably take some snaps, but Jamal Williams should get a heavy workload, uh, you know, game script willing. Of course, on the other side of the ball, there will be no Juju Smith-Schuster. He's been ruled out with a hamstring injury for the Steelers. Vance McDonald also ruled out in this one. Uh, it's a great matchup for all the uh, weapons uh, still available to Ben Roethlisberger. The Packers not great at covering the passes. Uh, Monday night, uh, DeAndre Hopkins uh, limited with a with a what is a foot injury. Nobody seems too worried about him. Alfred Blue has a hamstring. He obviously moves up to the second halfback spot if possible. Um, with Deontay Foreman out for the year. Will Fuller still dealing with a rib injury, not expected to play. Bruce Ellington, Ellington would fit in. Uh, the other side of the ball, Baltimore. Uh, no skill players on the injury report. Terrence, uh, Terrence West is there, but working fully with the calf injury. We'll see if he's a healthy scratch or not. By the way, Danny Woodhead, uh, the talk this week is he won't be on a snap count this week. He only got 13 snaps last week, so might get a little more out of him, and that would be interesting. So there you have it. That's the injury rundown again. Uh, watch the website uh, Sunday morning. Well, watch the rest of the day. I'll have articles going up, all kinds of great content there, DFS, including my DFS 3 and out column. Armando Marsal has a number of items, DFS pivot plays, Vegas versus fantasy, uh, uh, his, his uh, flex plays, John Lobb's DraftKings sheet of knowledge, which I refer to constantly when I set my lineups, uh, in addition to Brad Cruz's sit starts, and all kinds of other great stuff there for you to check out. So hit there. I'll be back at it uh, throughout the rest of the day. All tomorrow morning, you can catch me on Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio with Jeff Manns on the pregame show. Uh, we'll be talking about all these injuries, and you can read about them at the same time on the website. So good luck this week. Let's uh, continue to drive to the playoffs. Let's win some DFS money, uh, and let's be badass. Have a great week. We'll talk to you next week.